Hey folks, back on the bench. We're going to start on the new bird cam build, and I thought we would just start from scratch. Last time there were quite a few questions, so I figured this is probably <laughs> the best way to go about doing this. So what we want to do is go to raspberrypi.org. Once you're there, you're going to go to software. I don't know why that menu stuck, but that's okay. You're going to go to software. You're going to download the latest version of the Raspberry Pi Imager and go ahead and get that installed. Once that's installed, I'll see you guys back over here. Okay, now there's with the new images, one thing worth talking about. I'll skip through doing this portion of it, but I will show you how to get to this menu. By pressing Control, Shift, and X in the new version, it wasn't selected, you can pull up a new menu. And under these options, you can disable overscan, which is that black border that you get around the screen. You can set your host name. You can enable SSH. You can set up your Wi-Fi. Make sure if you set your Wi-Fi that you set the country appropriate. In this case, my case, it's U.S., but make sure you set that appropriate locale if you need to set it somewhere different. You can skip the first run wizard, which if you've installed Raspberry Pi OS from scratch, you get that little window that pops up on the GUI version on the desktop and walks you through setting things up. You can disable or enable telemetry which to give you an example, go back a few episodes back, I talked about it running home to Microsoft, the new version of Raspberry Pi OS. So there's a way to disable that and then save your options. So the next thing we need to do is choose our operating system. In this case, we want to go with Raspberry Pi OS Lite which is no desktop because we're going to be controlling this via a web interface. So that's our quick way. Choose our storage. And we're going to go ahead and write the image. Double check. <laughs> Always double check your image. And we'll see you guys back here in a few. Okay, there you go. Now we have that micro SD is formatted. So let's switch over and bring it up for first boot. Okay, so now I've put the micro SD into the zero. And let's start our zero up and put some power to it. <laughs> now, what I went ahead and went back and did was set up my Wi-Fi using the wizard that control shift X option so I want to make sure that works because it's actually the first time I've used it so I don't actually expect it to work the first time through I've found where that can be a little bit problematic so we'll give it a shot and see what happens <music> And okay, so we know right off the bat here that our first portion worked because I named it BirdCam. Otherwise, it would just say Raspberry Pi. So, Pi logged into the wrong machine or tried logging into the wrong machine. Um, did the Wi Fi work? Okay, so the first part of that worked. Using the Control Shift X menu option actually worked. I was not expecting it to work very well. So let's turn down my mic gain just a little bit. As always, what do we have? We have a new machine. 
But before I forget, let me sudo raspy traspy raspy config. <coughs> Space would help, wouldn't it? Why did I go to raspy config? Because I need to turn on. Oh, there was a message there. I need to turn on the camera because I forget that almost every build. SSH is already enabled via the script, so we don't need to do that right now. <clears throat> We have a brand new Raspberry Pi OS install. Other than enabling the camera, what's the first thing we have to do? Updates. So let's sudo apt update. Let's get our updates going. So our first thing is first part is done as far as updates. So do we have no? We do not have git install. Oh, that's right. This is the light. So sudo apt install git. Whoops. Let's get git installed. Okay, so we're about ready to, well, we have SSH in. Let me just log in. Okay, so we're there. Now, I mentioned I have to copy this Git repository, and I don't want to make a typo, so you'll see why. <laughs> it's a fairly long command, so let's get over there and get this downloaded. Very quick. All right, good. So everything's set up. Our next step is dot stall, dot slash install. Let's get this running. Oh, so much for end curses working, right? HTML, yes, yes. Port 80 is fine. Yeah, I'll leave that blank for now. Slightly out of date there, but all right, I'll just say that the defaults are okay. We are now done with the install. So let's take a look at that, get that out of the way. Um, I just want to take a look at my disk usage. No, oh, disk, <laughs> completely disk free. 
Looking pretty good. 120 gig available. So we should now be able to do some good stuff. <laughs> okay, just to show you that there's no trickery here. I have not changed this browser. I have not connected to it, but I know that my address is dot thirty-eight. So let's just take a quick connection over there, and there we are. So if we go to HTML, ha ha. We now have a live view. Pretty interesting. Stop camera, record video, start, record image, time lapse, start, motion detect, start. Sweet. <laughs> All right, I'm a little geeky with this one. We get a lot of options with this one. Okay, good. So I can do. Let's try that. Now let's go back up. Hey, look. It changed it right away. Background. Oh, so it gives us a background to our text. Sure did. Which I don't like, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a little more appropriate now. Got my full channel name up there. Oops, I bumped the camera. It's a little bit of a tight fit. <laughs> All right, background car. We can do custom text colors. What's down here? Oh, this is just help files. Okay, well, that's good. I am digging this. Yeah. Bring in my little minion. Here he comes. Of course, he's out of focus because I'm only a few inches from the camera. But yeah, I can, I can live with that. <laughs> so there you go. There's the first version build as far as the software side for the new version of the bird cam. We'll come back and work on this some more next episode. All right, guys, that's it. See ya. <laughs> All right, there was one thing I didn't think to check. Do we have the horsepower in a zero to actually run this well? So I'm going to record HTOP running. I'm going to run over here and make some changes. And we're going to start recording video. I'm just wiggling my fingers. Put my little minion in there so there's some changes. Let's come back and take a look. Actually, that's pretty damn efficient. 